Always assume the boiler is installed wrong. This is one of my core beliefs and it saved me thousands of dollars. Installed wrong could include an under or oversized boiler, expansion tank, piping, flue, combustion air, or pump. Welcome friends to Boiler Room Detective Channel, where I'm your host, Ray Wolfarth. Today we're diving into a critical topic for anyone installing hydronic boilers. Whether you're a seasoned pro or a newbie to the industry, understanding these common mistakes can save you time and money and ensure your boiler runs efficiently and safely. If the old boiler can operate, I like to run it. While the boiler is running, I check the water temperature rise through the boiler and look around for potential issues, such as discoloration on the boiler jacket. This could mean inadequate combustion air or soot inside the boiler's flue passages. Why are you looking to replace a boiler is a question I like to ask the customer on every project. It helps me find hidden problems I may inherit when replacing the boiler. The first thing I do is perform a heat loss study of the existing building. I like to add 15 to 20 percent for a safety factor. I compare my calculations to the existing boiler to see how close they are. Many contractors size a new boiler by looking at the ratings of the existing one and choosing one at the same size or larger. The old boiler may have been what the wholesale house had in stock when it was replaced. Once we have the boiler sizing, I check the other components of the system for proper sizing as well. Reusing the existing pump is commonly done, but could lead to problems. If the old boiler is 50% larger than your calculation, the existing pump may be oversized by the same percentage. If the pump is oversized, the water velocity could erode the piping and cause leaks. An undersized pump could shock the new boiler by causing too high of a temperature rise through the boiler. According to ASHRAE, the average life of a base-mounted pump is 20 years, and a pipe-mounted pump is estimated at 10 years. You may be doing the customer a disservice by connecting a new boiler to piping with a 30-year-old pump. When purchasing a boiler, the circulator is typically piped and wired on the boiler return piping. This could create system problems such as air in the system. The air causes internal corrosion and no heat calls when the air accumulates in the highest radiators. The boiler should be piped with a circulator on the supply pipe, pumping away from the expansion tank. This will virtually eliminate the air inside the system and bleeding radiators. Inadequate combustion air is another critical issue. Boilers need proper ventilation to operate safely and efficiently. Poor ventilation can lead to dangerous carbon monoxide buildup and reduced efficiency. Ensure the boiler room has sufficient combustion air according to local codes and the manufacturer's guidelines. Verify the pipe size is correct. An undersized boiler will lead to high water velocity. I like using 2 to 6 feet per second for the desired velocity in the hydronic system. Velocities greater than 6 feet per second could cause the piping to erode. Most boiler manufacturers recommend or require flushing the existing hydronic piping to remove any accumulated mud or dirt. One manufacturer will avoid the warranty if this is not done. I remember speaking to a pump manufacturer who told me that dirt in the hydronic system is a leading cause of pump failures under warranty. Check the piping you're connecting to. Is there a three-way valve? An incorrectly installed three-way valve could damage the boiler by thermal shock. Most hydronic boilers are designed for a 20 degree delta T or temperature rise through the boiler. If it's greater than that, it could destroy the boiler. Improperly venting the boiler can cause dangerous conditions. If venting through the sidewall, look at the wall where the pipe will be run. Are there windows that open where the flue gases can enter the building? How about an outside air louver? Consult the local and national codes for properly venting flue gases through the wall. If using sidewall venting for the boiler, look at the water heater flue. 
Will it be orphaned inside the old chimney? If so, a chimney liner is usually needed. This could be expensive if not included in the original bid. If you are replacing the boiler with a non-condensing boiler, be sure the boiler can be vented properly. How far is the chimney from the new boiler? The code limits the horizontal length to 75% of the chimney height when using a single wall flue pipe. The horizontal flue pipe length could be the same size as the chimney height if a type B vent is used. Verify the flue and chimney are in good condition if they are being reused. Many new high efficiency boilers require water treatment. Be sure to check with the one you're installing. The manufacturer may be able to provide the treatment. The treatment level should be tested yearly. The acid neutralizer lowers the acid content in the condensing boiler's flue gases. Most municipalities do not allow acidic water down the drain. Be sure the acid neutralizer is installed and it has to be checked yearly as well. When using combustion air directly to the outside, the air temperature can change the air to fuel ratio. As the air gets cooler, the oxygen level increases. The oxygen level lowers as the air warms or the barometric pressure drops. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more expert advice and tips. Thanks for watching. If you would like to contact me, my contact information is here. In addition, I have two websites. Brewingwithsteam.com is focused on steam systems for breweries and distilleries. It includes a monthly blog about steam issues inside a brewery. My other site is fireiceheat.com. It's my company's website and shows some of our capabilities. I've authored 12 boiler books, which are available on Amazon. My technical articles are included in these industry publications. Thanks for stopping by Boiler Room Detective, and I'll see you on the next case.